His name is Trayvon Martin. Say it. Renee Davis. Davis. Khalif Browder. Mackenzie Cox. John Barry. His name dies without justice. I know his name because his name is mine. My name is Raji Eddins, and I use poetry as a way to empower youth and community, as well as confront white supremacy and affirm mutual humanity. When do our lives become valuable in the eyes of the law? The Black Artist Showcase was something that we founded about two years ago, in September 11, 2020. It was actually during the Battery Park encampment. The first one took place over at Crew Coffee. And, you know, 2020 was so full with global protest and uprising in response to the need to cease the violence against black people. I think it was a pivotal time to create something that allowed black artists in particular to express our voices and bring meaning and substance in our own narrative through our own lens to the fore. Since then we've had a black artist showcase every month. Uh, I think people have described my art as um, as powerful, as speaking, as necessary in terms of speaking to the conditions of today and the need for social justice and positive transformation in society and the world at large. Um, I would describe myself as a caring, uh, compassionate person who is deeply devoted to seeing positive transformation in society and using art as a way to heal and restore relationship with human beings. I want to welcome a, a super amazing person. She don't like when I say this about her, but I'm going to say it anyway. I want you to give a warm, warm round of applause for the phenomenal, the rejuvenating, the gloriously stupendous, outrageously cataclysmic, and the galactical. <laughs> give it up for Omega J. You got deep issues in your tissues within you. All chalked up to the shit that you've been through. But is that gonna be the reason that you fail? Stuck in your funk cloud waiting to exhale. I am a poet MC. I started as a, a comedian. And, and I make candles. Yes. So there, there's a lot there. I create in order to help myself. I was told in 2015, while I was in a mental institution that I need to get up on the stage or else I'll be back. I remember that every time. Every time I'm asked and actually every time I have a hard time, I need a stage. I guess it's my way where I feel like I'm safe to unleash some very strong words that are, well, the lyrics of my songs. No, I'm not the bitch, blessed with the big breasts, but I got a lot on my heart to get off my chest. It was a few years ago, just way back when, to be more specific, it was 2010. I'm, I'm not what you would call mainstream. I'm definitely not on a whole bunch of radio stations. The ones that hear me, hear me, but this Black Artist Showcase really became my stomping grounds to just really have fun and show out when I perform. I started, the best belief, I was too damn retarded. This bitch had me kicked out my own house over some bullshit to help him out. Shit got thick, we moved into his If it wasn't for Black Artist Showcase, I don't think I would have had the guts to publish a book of my poetry. Me and Rajni are like a team. We, we help each other with promoting and, and with our writing, and it's just been an adventure. I, I've, I've been in it since it started. It's been very fun. It's helped me gain confidence in my performance and, and what I create, and so I'm glad to be a part of it. It's not just a whole bunch of poets. It's 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 poets that are parents, that are creatives, that are building their own business, that are using this to give something for the community to do, like so people aren't stuck at home or getting in trouble or 
You heard what's on the news lately. We're trying to give people an opportunity to do something meaningful, worthwhile, creative within the community. Uh, you know, gaining more experience. Because yes, definitely, if, if we see the youth willing to write and work on their own things, we will definitely invite them to be a part of the Black Artist Showcase. It, it's, it's a way to give the community something positive to do and not be on the news for something new. But please believe it will be the first of many. The conscious rapper opening the eyes of the masses. And no, I'm not that ratchet bitch speaking of tits and asses. I'm the loner and misfit who's been to hell and back. The queen making gems out of words on a track. I am no longer the person whom you're doubtful of. Because I'm following the path of the most high above. This is who I am by the power of my mantra. Say it till you feel it.